Hello and welcome to day four of the first Ashes test here at Edgbaston, Australia. Three for 124, leading by just 34 runs. Steve Smith and Travis Head, the not out overnight batsman, here to preview all the day four action is Australia fast bowler Peter Siddle. And Peter, after day after three days play, what's your feeling on the game? Yeah, obviously, um, probably would have liked to have lost a few less wickets last night, but I think, um, yeah, to go into today in, in the lead um, is obviously a good place to start. And then, yeah, it's about this morning, obviously digging in and hopefully, yeah, the, the two in batsmen can, you know, stay there and build a nice partnership and, and you know, start progressing us to a, a pretty good total. How good Steve Smith? Yeah, he's unbelievable, I think, you know, the um, way he went about it in the first innings, um, that was that was amazing just to obviously, and for me, get to spend the time out there and, and watch him go about his business and get that, that, that sort of close-up view was amazing but yeah to see him you know dig in yesterday another tough um period for him but yeah he's all class and i think uh, yeah hopefully today yeah he can show what he's all about and um we get to witness something special once again no jimmy anderson for england how does that change your approach in this innings yeah i don't think it changes much for us i think it's just about you know going about um whoever we have to face we know we know the bowlers that we do have to face they've got the all-rounder there so it's, it's not as if they're really a bowler short they've still got their three fasties and Obviously, a few spin options throughout their lineup. So, yeah, it's just about you know digging in and whoever's at bowling at the time, just making the most of it and trying to build partnerships. And I think for us, yeah, it's going to be trying to build as many of those good partnerships throughout the rest of this innings uh, to, at the end of the day, hopefully be in a good position. History suggests that chasing 150 or more last at Edgbaston is going to be difficult. But how many runs do you think you need? Yeah, one 150 is a good start. Um, but yeah, I think you know you you want to be get get it to a comfortable sort of position. I think you know around 250 um, would be a, a, a nice um, a nice target. But it, it all comes down to this morning. I think you know they're going to come out um, up and about, try and get an early breakthrough or an early couple of um, wickets to put us under pressure. So yeah, it's obviously up to Hetty and Smitty to dig in now um, and start well this morning. And I think that that that'll probably you know, set us up nicely for the day. But if, yeah, if we lose a couple there, we're really going to have to consolidate and, and dig deep again. What have you made on the pitch and what did you guys take away from bowling on that deck? Yeah, it's, it's played pretty well. Obviously, after having a little bit in it early on, first up on day one, um, it made it hard work for us. Um, but then from then on, it sort of it has evened out and um, become a pretty good wicket to bat on. So um, we've noticed in both innings that uh, the ball has got soft quite quickly. So it does make it harder to get, get wickets sort of from that 30 to to 80 over mark um, so I think that's a good thing for us today if, if we can dig in early um, restrict them early on with uh, losing wickets and and then go about you know trying to get some runs I think you know that ball will play a part and hopefully yeah we can uh, can dig deep and you know try and get yeah as many runs as we can. You've played a lot of county cricket over here can you explain just quickly what the difference between this ball and the ball they used last year and there's sort of been a different kind of Duke's ball being used in the past couple of summers? Yeah I think it's, it's more just sort of sort of the seam I guess the the new ball in the uh, the county circuit this season has sort of had a different seam on it, so it probably hasn't seamed around off the wicket as much. Um, whereas, yeah, the, the the old ball does that does seam around a little bit, bit more movement off the wicket, uh, which obviously, yeah, does does assist the fast bowlers. You still need the conditions to suit uh, and the and the wicket to play um, in your favour. But I think, yeah, this one's it, it has showed that it's, it is a little bit flatter wicket, so it has been a bit harder to, fi to find that little bit of movement. Um, in it, but yeah, hopefully today um, it does uh, flatten out a little bit for the boys, and they can dig in and uh, you know start uh, accumulating some runs. Just finally, how good to being back playing Test cricket? Yeah, it's a, it, it's great. It's you know I've always uh, dreamed of as a young kid, but uh, um, yeah, to get another opportunity to you know, walk out there with the baggy green on and um, represent Australia, I think yeah, it's it's something that I've always loved doing. Um, yeah, and just just enjoying it. I think that's been the great thing about the last couple of years with my cricket. I just enjoy playing for whoever I am and. Uh, at, at the moment, it's Australia, and yeah, there's no no greater honour. So hopefully, yeah, we can uh, finish this test strong. Going to be a big day for us bowlers, um, either later tonight or hopefully tomorrow. That um, you know we can put in a good performance and uh, bring uh, bring home a win for Australia. Thanks, Pete. All the best. Cheers, mate. Thank you.